I stepped on I, I took a stride and I stepped and my foot like I felt the bone my big like that bone shift when I planted like when I put my foot down I felt it shift up and I never felt that happen before. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, they got it because the first hurdle I think is up there, right? Or right here? I don't know. Even none, they usually have their own little hundred line. Oh, look, y'all, they got our little sign over there. Say hello. Okay, we're a little close. <laughs> but this is fun. Y'all, I think I'm gonna get this. The tour of Italy. And Charlie want this. Ugh, Alfredo. I think my dad likes this. This is a good one. But I always get this because of the chicken parm. Oh my gosh. To die for. Stops. Actually, them kids did not use the bathroom when they were supposed to use the bathroom. We told y'all to use the restroom. And they still didn't use the restroom. But I'm walking up to our room now. But we sat at this hotel two years ago because we had states here two years ago. And we won. Like, we won the whole entire states. So, let me go ahead and go to my room. And I'll catch y'all in the morning. Y'all, we in line to buy merch right now. This is how they look. All right, y'all, we bought our merch. The shirts are really cute this year. I keep feeling raindrop. Oh, okay. But yeah, the shirts are really cute this year. And yeah, I ain't even talked to y'all this morning, but hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> but we got to the trap. We got to the trap probably an hour ago. We got here at 12. But we don't run till four, so we'll probably warm up a little later. But it was a long behind line, but you know we had to cut it. We wasn't we wasn't gonna wait that long. But we got our shirts. Oh hush. It's not illegal to cut. But oh they still do that clear back policy, dang. But we finna be chilling. Like, oh shit. <laughs> wait, I thought they did clear bags at jails too. 
know. They didn't do it at Adidas National, so probably not. But um, I'm gonna probably do homework, and we ain't doing too much. But it's supposed to be raining like throughout the day, so it's not gonna be a lot of content. Just like regionals, it was raining, so. But yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Probably when I'm warming up a little bit. Hey, y'all, it's gonna rain on us so bad, and they're gonna make us run in the rain. Like, no, I can't do it. Look at her. She done got the double tents together. Look at that. She ready to go with the. Look at my dudes. Ready to go with the car part right yeah, here. You in front know of how I do it. You should say when I had on my chairs. Oh, uh, yes, I seen them. You wasn't here, though. I think you was having a shitty. Y'all just look a mess. Girl, pull the camera out. Get the content. Get the content, y'all. This look bad, y'all. They not. They gonna delay the whole meet, and we're not gonna run. That's what is gonna happen. All right, y'all. A lot done happened. So it was like three different lane delays. Like, it was a mess. But we got third in our 4x8. We got third last year, but we like PR by like 10 seconds. So this whole entire year, we PR 20 seconds, basically. Because at regionals, we ran 10 seconds faster. And then at states, we ran 10 seconds faster. And we got third. Ooh, let me show y'all the medal. Here go the medal. Cute, cute, real cute. But y'all, I PR. I ran the fastest, like, I ran my fastest 800, like, in my lifetime. I ran 218. I'm used to running a 221. And I was dead after the 4x8. Like, I was dead. But... We about to, we warmed up for our four by one. It's, we were supposed to start running at six. It's 640 and the four by one was supposed to go off at 650, but we probably not gonna run till like 730. So that kind of pushed all the events back. So we're not gonna be done till later tonight, but yeah, our four by one, we're gonna get top three again. Like, come on now. And then my 800, I'm gonna try to get top three. I'm really excited because like, I ran a 218 in a relay, so I'm definitely gonna run 218 or faster in my 800. Whew. All right, hey y'all. So, <sighs> so y'all just watched everything prior. You watched all the moments prior to disaster. Four by one, we had we got seventh. Um, we had a little issues with a few stick pass, but. We still play, so we still got on the podium, we still got a medal, so that was really good. I'll talk about how everything happened. So, my four by one. A lot of factors contributed to my injury. I still wanted to run through everything that I was doing. So I did the four by one, and after the four by one, my foot started hurting. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but in like my very first vlog, I talked about um, my foot injury and i had to wear a boot for about a week also had like a bruised tendon also so around my big toe there was a lot of fluid and stuff like that with the mris yada 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 so i just had a lot of pain so my doctor we got some treatments going we got laser therapy he gave me an ointment he gave me oral medicine um like pills to take so basically um my doctor he cleared me to run so that's what i did i wanted to finish the season i didn't want to miss some districts regional i didn't want to miss any of that so this was back in march around spring break, so I'll say like March 20th, 21st, something like that. So I've been feeling pain since March in my toe. Um, some races, like during my races while I would run, it wouldn't hurt because of the adrenaline, you know, like you're ready to run, so I wouldn't feel it. I would feel it after, you know what I'm saying, or before, but, so all that to say, um, after my four by one, I felt pain in my foot. This was normal for me at the time. Like I always felt pain after the four by one. So I was like, okay, we'll run through it. My second lap, um, I got boxed in. So I was kind of like, and when you're boxed in, you try not, because people are running in front of you and behind you. So you try to kind of keep your, like keep your little space and you try not to step on somebody's foot or somebody's trying not to step on you. So your stride kind of shortens and changes, right? So basically I stepped wrong. I, I took a stride and I stepped in my foot. Like I felt the bone, my big, like that bone that's like connected to your big toe, that line. I felt that shift when I planted, like when I put my foot down, I felt it shift up. And I never felt that happen before. I never, never. So it kind of like shocked me. So I tried to take another step and like I kind of collapsed. Like 
I didn't collapse on the track. I kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I can't explain how it happened because it happened, everything happened so fast. Like I just took two steps and then I like had to basically fall out on the field, basically fall to the side. So that's what I did. And yeah, I didn't get to finish the race, my 800. So that was kind of disappointing. All that to say, I didn't get to finish my 800 because I was injured. So it took like five minutes for somebody to come and like literally get me. Like that was the one who had to carry me off the field. Um, so yeah, and that's kind of disappointing because it was a lot of refs and like people just staring at me and I'm like, hello, like I'm in pain. I'm grabbing my foot. Like I couldn't put pressure. I could not walk. Like I could not put pressure on it. Something was wrong. Like I knew something was wrong. Like it felt like the bone literally shifted out of place. Like it, it was really, my dad carries me off the field. We go to the medic tent. And they were like, she need crutches, but we got no crutches. How are we at a state's meet and y'all don't have a set of crutches? Like, I swear. But anyway, they rolled me out of the meet and they rolled me to the front where the cars are so my mom can come pick me up. My dad would go get my bags, yada, yada, yada. So all that to say, I didn't get to finish my 800 and I didn't run a four by four. Um, they had to put an alternate in. They got, I think, six. So they still did good. But yeah, so that was kind of disappointing. It was a huge letdown. I'm gonna trust God's timing. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I had to listen to my body. My body was telling me, shut it down. And I wanted to make it through states because like it's states, like who wants to fall out at states and not finish the race? I mean, I'm wearing, the boot right now so I, I was sad about it at first but then it's like okay you can't change the past life goes along and you have so many other things to focus on focus on the good so I'm not gonna let it weigh me down and just I'm gonna let this be a lesson to me to listen to my body and just know when I need to shut it down you know setback is a setup for a comeback you know what I'm saying so it's officially comeback season and we're coming back since I'm better and harder season 2024. That's all I got to say. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when I post. Cause I'm trying to get like a film, like a a little post schedule for y'all. I think I'm gonna do, I should be doing like every Saturday, either like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. one of those times. But I think I'm going to try to post every Saturday for y'all. Stay tuned for my next video. And if you made it to the end of this video, I love y'all.